Joining us now is Muhammad Ali's daughter, Layla. And we really appreciate you sharing some time with us this morning as we and so many others continue to pay our respects to your beloved father. I was just saying to you, do you feel the love? Do you, is it, is it bringing you some, some measure of comfort, Layla? I've been feeling the love since before my father passed away. But um, I can say that I'm obviously really sad, um, but I've been sad for a long time, mm. you know, just watching my father struggling with Parkinson's disease. And, you know, you hold your head up and you say, yeah, he's doing great. But, you know, I felt like he was trapped inside of his body. Um, so I have comfort in knowing that he's not suffering anymore. Your father, the way he, he faced Parkinson's so courageously, can, can you share with us um, your final your final moments with your dad? Well, my father, um, thank God, all of us kids, um, you know, my father has nine children total, were all at the hospital um, and all had the opportunity to be with him when he passed away. Um, so some of, you know, my sisters were saying Islamic prayers and, you know, so it was a very peaceful time and uh, we sent him off in a very peaceful way and we all were there. Um, and that doesn't always happen, you know, when everybody has the opportunity to be there. So that was very nice. It's very important to have his family there by his bedside. When did you first realize that your father was more than a world champion, that he was beloved all around the world and was, had such a great power and influence over people? Well, from a very young age, you know, everywhere we went, we got attention because my father loved attention and he would make sure that everyone saw him and stop for him and we'd be stuck places for hours. He's doing magic tricks and things. So I knew my dad was special and um, speaking up for people who, who couldn't speak for themselves. And I just have so much respect for him um, because you just don't see that. You don't see that anymore. Um, not only in just athletes. I mean, you can't even, there's just not that many men that you can really compare to my father. You know, when I think of my father, I think of people like Nelson Mandela and people mm. like that. He was a loving father. You're a loving mother. Love the pictures that you shared on social media, especially the one with your little boy and girl and your, your dad was wearing the birthday, little birthday hat. Uh, what do you remember most from that moment? That was his last birthday, mm. um, you know, and we all, again, luckily, all his kids and grandkids were there. Um, we were with him in Arizona and he was you know, bright eyed and alert and he had a really great day. Um, and, you know, I, I, I cherish those moments. And my daughter, Sydney, has a really, really close connection with him where she's always like, I want to go see Papa. I want to go see mm. Papa. And, you know, I, I'm always taking her to go visit him. She doesn't know who he is. You know, she's only <laughs> five years old. She's been saying that since she was three. So, um, you know, that's what's been hard for me. That's why I have to stay strong and, and um, you know, teach them about celebrating life and moving on and all of that because it's a part of life. Um, so, yeah, but I'm happy they, they were able to spend that time with him. And all of us, many of us remember that time, 96 Olympics. Um, your father, it was just 12 years since he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And to see him light that flame, what kind of strong message do you think that that sent to others facing a similar disease? You know, he's an angel. And just to hold that torch and be shaking and not be hiding his sickness, you know, and just mm -hmm. showing that strength that he still has. Like I said, he just embodies so much and it was just all in that one moment and people just weren't expecting it. And this man transcends ev all, everything there is and everybody just loves him, you know. So <sighs> there isn't anybody else like him. I don't think there ever will be. Your, your father's going to be remembered for, for many things. I was rereading his his memoir over the weekend and I loved how he closed how he would like to be remembered. He said, I guess I'd settle for being remembered only as a great boxer who became a leader and a champion of his people and I wouldn't even mind if folks forgot how pretty I was. That was your dad. <laughs> Classic. Classic Muhammad Classic. Ali. I'm glad you have those memories to, to cherish as we as many of us do. Layla Ali always Always a pleasure to see you and spend time with you. All my best to you and your family. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, Robin. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm. And she was saying, because, you know, there's going to be a big tribute for him in Louisville. And he, she said her father was talking about it. And he said, 10 million is not going to be enough to show up. <laughs> not even 10 million, but just his, his exuberance and love of life. I love that. An angel with a real powerful punch. Yeah. <laughs>